Hello friends! Welcome to the future in the year 3120. I'm so glad that you found your way to Hope Headquarters. My name is Zab and I'm one of the pros here at Hope Headquarters where we help others have hope by praying, remembering, and obeying God. You look like some happy helpers. Hey, while you're here in the future with me, you can become a pro at having hope and helping others too. We're gonna have a zapping good time. Now everyone who helps out here at Hope Headquarters gets to use some super cool gadgets that help us help others. Here, let me show you. These are my galaxy glasses. They help me flash back into the past and flash forward into the future. We'll try these out in a little while. Next, we have a special watch. This helps us do so many things here in the future. Let me see you point to your special watch just like mine. Oh, zappy day! Now here at Hope Headquarters, we have lots of robot friends. These robots look and act a lot like people. They even like to dance. But first, we need to start them up. We do that by singing the robot rock. Stand up and sing it with me. Nova, you're gonna fit right in with all of our robot friends. Oh hey, did you hear that sound coming from our special watches? That sound means we're getting a call from one of our robot friends right now. If we tap our watches, we can see the message. Everyone, tap your special watch with me and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy, Zappy Tappy! Tappy. <laughs> we did it! Look everyone, this is my friend R12. Everyone, welcome R12 to Hope Headquarters by waving and saying beep bop. Beep bop! Beep bop, everyone. Zap, I have a problem, and I wanted to see if you could help me solve it. I just got very angry with my mommy bot for asking me to clean my room. I was playing outside, and she told me to come inside to pick up my toys. I cried and said some very mean things to her. I feel bad for the way I treated my mommy bot, but now I don't know how to make it right. What's a bot to do? Oh man, R12, it sounds like your hope tank is running low. You need a little P-R-O. Friends, we need to help R12. There's a story from God's Word that is sure to help R12 have hope again. To hear a story from God's Word, the Bible, First, we need to turn on our listening ears. Let's turn them on together by saying click, click. Click, click. Great. Now everyone, 
put on your galaxy glasses with me and say zoop zoop. Zoop zoop! Flashing back to the Bible in five, four, three, two, one. This is Jonah. Can you say Jonah? Jonah? Jonah! One day, God told Jonah to go to the big city of Nineveh. God heard about the bad things that were happening in the city, and he wanted Jonah to go there and tell them to stop doing what is bad. But Jonah did not want to go. He actually tried to run away. He got on a boat and sailed as far as he possibly could in the opposite direction of where God had told him to go. While Jonah was on board the boat, God brought a great storm on the sea. The wind was blowing and the big waves were crashing. Look at their faces. They look scared. Can you make a scared face too? Jonah knew that God had sent the storm. So Jonah told the people on the boat, I know I did wrong. That is why the storm came on the sea. So throw me into the sea and it will calm down. They didn't want to do it, but they threw Jonah into the sea and right away, the storm stopped. But look what's coming. It's a big fish. God rescued Jonah by sending a big fish to swallow him up. Everyone hold up three fingers. Because Jonah was in the fish's belly for three days and three nights. While Jonah was inside the fish, he prayed and told God how sad and hopeless he was feeling. But as Jonah prayed and remembered God, God gave him hope. Jonah praised God and thanked him for rescuing him. Then Jonah said he would do what God told him to do. God heard Jonah's prayers and told the fish to spit him out onto dry land. Then, flash forward, Jonah obeyed and went to Nineveh like God told him to do. We may not ever be in the belly of a fish, but when we are scared or do wrong things like Jonah did, we can pray and talk to God. As we pray, God will give us hope. Then we can be happy because we know that God will do good things. Flashtastic! God gives me hope and he gives you hope too. Say this after me. God gives... God gives me hope, me hope, as I pray, as I pray. That story we just heard from God's Word will definitely help R12 with this problem, and it can help us too. I want to play a game using our special watches to see how much you remember from our Bible story. To see our first question, everyone tap your special watch and say, Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Zappy -tappy. Friends, did Jonah do what God asked him to do the first time? No! That's right. Jonah did not obey God right away, and because of that, Jonah ended up in the belly of a fish. When he was in the belly of that fish, he prayed and talked to God. R12, God will give you hope as you pray. Happy helpers, let's all pray with R12 right now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Now repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God, please help me. Please help me. I love you. Amen. I love you. Amen. Look, when we prayed, it put some hope in R12's hope tank. Praying will make us all pros at having hope. Okay, to see our next question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy, zappy Tappy! tappy. When Jonah prayed, did he say that he forgot about God or remembered God? Remember God. You got it. As Jonah prayed, he remembered how God had rescued him in the stormy sea. Remembering what God did gave Jonah hope that God was going to do good things. R12, God will give you hope as you remember what he has done and what he has promised to do. 
Happy Helpers! Let's give R12 some hope by telling him to remember on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! Remember! Look! When R12 remembered, it put some hope in his hope tank. Remembering will make us all pros at having hope. But there is one more thing we all need to do. So to see our last question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Our next question says, after the fish spit Jonah out, did he run away again or did he obey? Obey! That's right. Jonah prayed, remembered, and obeyed God. And we can too. As Jonah did all those things, God gave him hope. R12, you can obey God's day by obeying your mommy bot, like God tells us to do. You can even obey by being thankful for your mommy bot, because God tells us to do that too. Happy helpers, let's tell R12 to obey on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Obey! obey. Beep bop boop beep. Now I see there's hope for me. Next time my hope runs low, I'll just say, P-R-O. See you later, Zap. See you later, R12. Look at that, happy helpers. God gave R12 hope as he prayed, remembered, and obeyed. God gives us hope too. Say that again after me. God gives... God gives... Me hope... Me hope... As I pray. As I pray. I'm so glad we flashed back to the Bible so that we could help R12 with this problem. Here at Hope Headquarters, we have what's called a future memory bank. That's where we send our memories to the future for the next time we need hope. Would you like to help me send R12's memories to the future memory bank? Yeah! Supernova! We can do that by saying what we learned today. Let's all say it together now. Just repeat after me. God gives... God gives... Me hope... Me hope... As I pray. As I pray. Happy helpers, look! We sent what we learned to the future memory bank, and now the future's looking bright. Today, we learned that God gives us hope. And hope is when we are happy, because we know that God will do good things. Let's all stand up and sing a song to show God how happy we are that He gives us hope. Great job! Thanks for visiting me here in the future and helping out at Hope Headquarters today. As you flash back in time, remember that God gives you and me hope as we pray. Stop by any time and have a zappy day.